Hi there, this is Marlena, and I am so glad that you joined me this day. We are going to be talking about feng shui for your romantic flame, and you may be in a relationship or you might be looking for one. So stay tuned because we are going to get a little deeper into the subject today. You may have been um, going through a negative pattern in your life and we can deal with that and bring you a great solution to break that pattern off of your life. I have many years of experience with the feng shui um, of the home, but also the feng shui of your relationship. There's a difference here. We are going to dive deep into that in one of our master classes coming up very soon. So I want you to stay tuned to the channel. Um, make sure that you subscribe here. Also, if you have Gmail, uh, you may not receive your um, email notices of when I, you know, put up a new video. So I want you to stay tuned to the channel and come back every couple days and check back for new video updates. Uh, join into the um, list here. Get onto my email listing and also go to my website for some beautiful inspiration for your day. There is a package there for um, female, there's one for males, and there's one for both. So if you are a female, you can go onto the website into the right corner um, and click on the package for ladies. And if you're a male, then click on the package that is available there for male. And that will clear your energy field, your heart, uh, walls, and any other emotional um, energies that are still affecting you um, from the past, okay? Um, it is called Be Sexy and Free. And what we're talking about there is being sexy and free from the inside out. I'm not talking about you being, you know, um, sexy in your outfits and all that. Um, of course, you could be, and that's great, okay? Whatever you use in your, you know, spiritual toolbox, in your physical toolbox, that works for you. Share it in the comments below. Um, others are looking for a solution. So, today, um, let's begin here with your home, okay? As you lay out the Feng Shui um, Bagua map, um, you will notice that you are drawn to the bedroom, number one is a romance um, section. Um, also, the um, southwest corner, that room there, whatever it may be, is also a romance corner. But each and every room has a romance corner. So, for you as an individual, look at your home today while you're on this video, get some inspiration here. Um, look at your home, okay, where you walk in the door. What is the first impression that you receive when you walk in your home, okay? So go outside and come back in. What do you smell? What are your eyes drawn to immediately, okay? Those are two big factors. Because you are going to be the observer today. All right. So walk into your home. What do you see? What do you smell? All right. Where is your eye drawn to? Okay. What object or item are you drawn to immediately when you walk in your door? So act like you are a potential partner coming into your home or your partner is coming into your home okay um, so the first thing we look at is those factors the smell 
number one, okay? Number two is looking at the Bagua map here, okay? Laying out the foundation for love and quality love is what we're looking for, right? Anybody can go out and get love, you know? <laughs> That's simple. All right, real quick love, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and it doesn't last. It means nothing, all right? It's a quick thing. It's like a flash of lightning. It's gone. It's over. It's done. You may feel um, dirty, right? Incomplete, right? Um, used, right? Um, and undervalued, right? Um, and that's not what we're looking for. We are looking for real love romance that lasts all right that you feel complete you feel great right and the other partner um is the one that is um chasing you right we want a partner that chases us all right especially women they are um going to need a little more training here so stay tuned because i'm going to train you up on how to get the partner to chase you and you stop chasing them all right and we're going to get rid of victimhood um sabotaging all right worrying about are you good enough right um and attracting the perfect romantic partner so we can do that together all right i've been there done that been through um you know divorce um, attempted murder, right? So that's victimhood, right? Um, came out of that very powerfully, uh, started my own businesses and did very well. So you are listening to someone here that was brought up in a broken home, very abusive, uh, mentally and physically. Uh, my dad walked out, left us with, uh, nothing. Okay. Um, we, kind of struggled for years, all right, and then he came back seven years later, all right, and he was worse than he was before, so I learned that when something's over, okay, let it be over, all right, <clears throat> it's a good thing to move forward, so what we're going to do is we're going to work on getting stronger, after a breakup or after um, a long time of waiting <clears throat> for a right partner to show up, you may have, um, you know, misconceptions. Uh, you may have been in a cycle where you're like, when are they going to show up? It's taking so long. I've done all this work. I'm grounded. I took all these courses. You know, I feng shui my house. Um, you know, went out on blind dates, whatever that is, right? Um, and it's not working for you, then you're on the right journey here with me. Uh, <clears throat> I have been on, you know, um, telesummits speaking about different things. Um, so you may know me from there. You may have uh, just found me on YouTube. You may have found me on Facebook. Uh, you might have got an email from me or a friend of yours um, hooked you up here, and that's awesome. I'm glad you're here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the smell of your home. We're going to look at what your eyes are drawn to when you enter your house. Also, the outside of your home, okay? When you first come down your street, when you look at your street, look at all the houses on your road, all right, what house stands out the most and why? Look at that home. What is the energy that that house has that is drawing you to look at it? So if you were a potential partner, look at yourself. What is the energy that you are putting out? Okay, how are you dressed? How do you smell? How are you walking? right? Are you smiling? Your head held high. Is your, you know, um, energy field around you 
drawing in the right kind of energy to you. So that's also your personal feng shui, right? Is your root chakra turned on? Is it clear, right? Are your solar plexus open? Is your heart chakra open, right? Is your mind chakra open? How's your auric field, right? Your auric field is the energy around you, right? So people around you, all right, are picking up on the vibration, the thoughts, right? And you're magnetizing those kind of people towards you. Or you are closed off and you're pushing them away. So we want to balance that, bring you into a energy that vibrates perfect love. I am happy and contented, joyful and ready to receive my partner. So if you are, then I want you to um, email me. All right. That information will be underneath this video. Also, my um, website is there for you. You can go check that out um, and learn a little bit more about what I do. It's not just feng shuiing, okay, that I work on. I work on finances, um, you know, your health, your well-being, your emotions. They all are tied into what is happening in your life. So I will be there to support you through your healing journey, your processing, um, and I will bring you a solution for that problem. So today what we're going to work on in this video is going outside of your home, taking a virtual scan of it, okay, and then coming into the room, okay, through the door, and smell the first thing people do is when they come in your door is their eyes go to something. So where are your eyes going to? Is that a good item? Okay, if not, move it. Okay, bring something more um, alluring, right? Something that makes the person want to be there, okay? It supports you. It balances you. It balances the home. It balances what you're looking for in your life, right? Number one, the smell. Make sure it is a smell that's natural, like cinnamon, vanilla, or oranges. Perfect fragrances for a home. You can use lavender, but do not use plugins. Right? You do not want to use the plug-in fragrances that they're selling. All right, That's absolute garbage. It's not good for the environment or you. And they are also known to start fires. So there's a thing for you today. Maybe you just learned something. Okay. Cleaning products. Another thing. I create my own. So I will cut up lemons. Um, I will squeeze them into spray bottles of water. Uh, Windex, I use that. Um, it has vinegar in it, so you can use vinegar and water. I will clean with that, right? Um, in every corner of your home, all right, if there's any clutter, get it out of there. Okay, so we're going to begin this video with smell, where your eyes go to, and corner cleaning, all right? So that begins the video there for you, and that's your homework assignment. You might not enjoy cleaning, all right? I had uh, my own cleaning company, very successful, um, and when I moved to another state where I'm in now, um, I was standing outside and talking to my neighbor, and a car pulled up with, you know, two beautifully dressed gentlemen who were... Um, investors and um, they purchased a home next door to me and they just came out of the car walked up to me and said hello I am so-and-so here's my card 
and um, you clean homes, don't you? And it was just like the energy that, you know, was coming out of me that they just picked up on. So see, that's what I'm talking about. How intuitive certain people are about you and me. So what we want to do is pick up our energy, all right, in, on, and around us, okay? And we're working on that every single day. It's a process. So you might be coming out of a very serious, um, bad relationship, all right? Or that's a series for you. You grew up in it like I did. And it became a pattern in my life. And I was wondering why do I keep attracting these same abusive kind of people um, where they put on a good show, right? Um, and then a little long down the line, the, you know, um, real them comes out. And so there you go with another broken heart. So you do need my package to break free of that. Be sexy and free. It's available for you on the website. Um, the downloads will be sent to you. Uh, have a little patience with the system <clears throat> as the internet, you know, quirks its way through. But you're going to receive a valuable package so that you can clear the cords, the attachments, the emotions, um, the patterns from your family. You're going to get rid of the um, heart walls, the pain in your heart, the emotions, the feelings, why you um, chose to stay in those kind of situations. You might have reasons why, you know, there were children involved, financial reason, fear of being alone, fear they'd be with somebody else. All these are real, all right? We've all experienced those. We have jealousy coming up, you know, fear, loneliness, um, finances sometimes play a big factor there. Uh, somebody might be sick and you feel obligated to stay, you know, um, that kind of stuff. So we want to, you know, sort through all these reasons and break them down, all right, and why they're there, where they came from, right, and then bring that solution where you can actually see freedom and break free from that. And then the loneliness, right? Breaking free from loneliness. Breaking free from feeling um, unsupported, unloved, undervalued, undermined, pushed aside. You know, we've all been uh, pushed aside at one point in our life or passed over for somebody else, right? And we felt bad and it made us feel like we weren't good enough. Or if someone leaves our life, we feel like it's our fault. What did we do? That's the first thought that bounces into your head, right? And if you are the one that broke up with somebody, um, there was a reason, right? Enough is enough. That's one of my statements. Enough is enough. Um, if you've had more than enough of your share and you're ready for a solution, then you are on the right page today. The universe is supporting you in that healing journey by bringing you here to me. And the first thing that we're going to work on, like I said today, your homework assignment is cleaning the corners in your home. Making sure that every single corner is clutter free. The front door is clutter free inside and out. How beautiful Will your house smell by tonight? That's, a, that's your homework assignment from me to you. The next video we are going to launch for you will have the next step, okay? But today we must begin by going outside, looking at your home. What is the energy of your home? Is it drawing in people or repelling them, right? Weeds got to go, right? Dead flowers got to go. Old things got to go, right? So clean up the outside 
clean up in front of your door coming in, right? Put a new welcome mat there. Um, not with your name on it. Um, you know, make sure it's like um, good for, you know, the weather that you're at. Um, and there's one lady who does feng shui and says don't even put welcome on the mat because they're stepping on your welcome. Uh, your name on the mat, stepping on your good name. All right. We don't want that. So you can find a um, nice colored mat for your energy. So what is your energy calling you to? What color mat, right? Um, depending on the facing of your home. So for the, um, let's say, northwest entrances, you could pick silver, all right? And um, that would be perfect. They got some really nice ones. I've got one myself, and um, it's very thick and nice. So that's there. And then in front of the north door, you put a nice um, black one, all right? So things like that. Color coordinate the mats coming in, yes? Make sure your lights are working outside, okay? Um, it's a good practice to make sure there's good lighting um, on your property. You want to bring in light, okay? Natural light as well. Opening up the blinds, opening the windows, airing out the house, especially if there was fighting and quarrels in the home, um, negative thoughts coming in. We want to balance your home. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to work step by step together. So if you want to join me in this journey um, and get rid of that loneliness, um, the fear, the worry, uh, or if you're moving into a new space, this is a good place to be because I can um, bring you some answers about your new space. So if you're moving into a new space, Rather, you're alone or with a spouse or a partner or even a family member, right? This is a good um, channel to be on because I am going to train you up. I'm going to bring joy into your life because joy, all right, is a very high vibration. When you are joyous, okay, from the inside out, right, your energy is bringing joy to others, joy into your atmosphere and you should know that money follows joy all right great relationships and health follow joy so you're on the right track when you allow yourself to have some fun all right do something creative today by cleaning the corners of your home taking a real look at the place that you're at right now all right you might have done some deep cleaning and that's awesome but we're gonna go even deeper than that because we are not just gonna go and do typical feng shui all right we're gonna do personal feng shui along with the feng shui bagua okay so the first feng shui and we're doing is with you we need to feng shui the energy of you all right you are an energy frequency a vibration all right you have a set point we're going to raise that set point up okay let's raise your set point up higher and higher and higher okay and let's balance your energy let's get you to be a magnet to draw in that which you desire and I am going to be your dream life activator. That's what I do. And step by step. So if you're ready for something better in your life, then go under the video right now. Subscribe to the channel that you're on. Okay. Press the like button. All right. Because that raises your vibration. When you press a like button, it raises your vibration. And you become a match to like. Understand that? That's awesome, right? Yes? All right. And then you can go watch um, some of the other videos that I uploaded here. There's a variety on this channel, yes. And right now, we are going to focus on 
the feng shuiing of you, your natural environment, okay, and on partnerships. So we're not going to play the lonely card anymore, all right? We're going into the highest vibration possible for you, okay? How much love will you allow in your life, right? And what you will not tolerate anymore, okay? So we're becoming solid and stable here. And we are not just going to practice it. We are going to live it, okay? We're going to dream it in, and it's going to come in and be manifested step by step, all right? I just punctuate my bedroom myself again, okay, to upgrade it. So today you are at the point where you're just beginning. You are just coming in to this state of energy into a new vibration, okay, that matches your true purpose and your desire. So if you're ready for that, say yes. Put your thumb up right now with me, okay? Connect with me, all right, in this energy. Yes, okay? And we're going to vibrate on that, where we're going to match the energy of our highest vibration. So allow your heart to open. Allow your space to be open and free. Allow your heart to sing again. Allow your mind to settle in, okay, for this beautiful flow of energy of love, right? Love is a flow. Love is a flow. Allow the flow of love to just flow through you right now in a bigger, wider, more expansive way for you, all right? And let there be joy in your journey from today on. That's our intention. So thank you so much for tuning in today. As you can see, the beautiful heart on the screen has opened up a beautiful feng shui where there's plants and there's beautiful sunlight coming through. Um, you also see the crystal light on the ceiling where I brought in crystal light into my foyer. Um, I'm expanding the energy here. So when you walk in, into um, my space the first thing you smell here is vanilla and the first thing your eyes go to right is forward so in forward I put up some beautiful um, things for people's eyes to focus on and it draws them in to be comfortable um, I had people come in and say wow your house is beautiful uh, wow it smells good I feel very comfortable around you. That's the energy here. Very comfortable, relaxed, right? There's a purpose here to become relaxed and comfortable, right? So there you go. Allow yourself to be relaxed today. Feel comfortable about being you, all right? That's a good thing for you. But your homework assignment is what we talked about, remember, go outside now, all right, and look at your home, all right, go all the way around it, walk all the way around it, apartment as well, and see what the energy feeling is for you there, all right, is that drawing in a potential um, partner, think about that, why or why not, what can you do, all right, even if it's not your space, what can you do? All right. You have questions? Email me and I will support you in answering as many questions as I can. Um, and then come into your space. What do you smell? What are your eyes drawn to? How do you feel in that place? All right. When you first walk in, that's very important. Number one. All right. So that's where we're beginning today. From the outside in, the energy comes from outside in. Your neighborhood has a lot to do with what you are receiving as well. So we can upgrade you and your space so that you are the only one on the block in a vibration of joy all right, and success 
and love, okay? That's what we're going to match, okay, working together. So thank you so much joining you in your journey. I am there. We are going into this together. Thumbs up. Yes, there's joy. Yes, there's a solution. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you.